tool just sent us over the brand new F1 laser, and we're gonna test it out to see how we can use personalization at our craft booth. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, our pals over at X-Tool have sent us this new F1 laser. This is a brand new laser. They aren't even shipping yet. I think they ship later this month or early next month. But this is their new portable laser. Have you ever been to a craft show like we have, wishing that you could do some personalization on the spot? As a matter of fact, we've been brainstorming how we were going to bring one of the big CO2 yeah. lasers with us. But I think now we can do that with this machine. I think this is going to be perfect for the craft show. It is their portable laser. It comes with an optional air purifier so that you can purify the air and use it right indoors, or you can use it without the purifier outdoors. This thing is about the size of a bread box. So, I mean, it'll literally fit in my pocket. <laughs> it's a dual head laser. It's got a two watt infrared laser and a 10 watt diode laser. That's right. And I'll give you a few more specs and then we're gonna do a couple of projects for you. So it's, let me make sure I have my sizes right here. It's seven inches wide, nine and a, half, nine and a quarter inches deep and 13 and 0.15 inches tall. So you can see it's a, it's not, it's not a tiny guy, but it's a tiny I mean, portable laser. It's a small little guy, <laughs> but it's a fast guy. This goes about 4,000 millimeters per second, as opposed to something like the D1, which only does 400 millimeters per second. It is so, a game changer. This it, thing is... It is fast. Yes, this yes. Is speedy. Small and speedy. And this thing engraves over 300 materials. So it'll do acrylic, leather, rubber, ceramic, slate, stainless steel, aluminum, gold, silver, copper, and even some materials that you wouldn't really think about. Rock, bone, mirrors, marbles, cookies. Cookies, chips, dips, chains, whips. Maybe not those last few. <laughs> oh, so we thought we would show you some projects that we think we would, might take to a craft show or you might take to a craft show. I don't know, or at least spark some ideas. Yeah, we're gonna do four or five different materials and show you what it can do. Project number one, we're gonna do some hat patches. You like the leather patches? It came in uh, the little materials pack that came with this thing. So it came with a couple of like real wood coasters, like cut down a pine tree. Now it's a coaster, <laughs> Some, a slate coaster, a bunch of these little like stainless steel charms. What is that? A magnet? Acrylic. A oh, piece that's of acrylic. acrylic. Yeah. And oh, cool. then some metal business cards mm -hmm. that are anodized so that you can engrave it off. I think this is like some kind of photo paper. Mm -hmm. I think you well, engrave the black off. And then like two pieces of eighth inch birch. So that was a pretty hefty pack of uh, things to try out. But we're gonna try the hat patch and I don't want it to be a circle. I want it to be a rectangle <laughs> and I wanna be able to put it over this logo. Yeah, I tried to talk him into putting this hat patch right on the center of yeah. his hat and he wasn't having it. I don't think so, I'm not like a circle in the middle of well, I told him patches first. are so popular right now. They're they're they are. something that I want to start. I would love to add to our booth, but I'm not going to add it. I'm worried about adding too many things, but I just think the hats with the little patches on them are so cute. And this has a 3M tape right on oh, the yeah. back of it. It's right on the back with some fake stitching that goes around. And I'll be cutting that off. <laughs> I'll be putting it right over here like a fake nose and a mustache. <laughs> Going incognito, Kim. <laughs> But I have another one, we, like he said, it came with two, so I'm gonna actually put a patch on the front of my hat. Patch on the hat. Right, start this little guy in there. Should I use this uh, this cutting bed? Uh, if you're gonna cut. I am gonna cut. So there are two beds with this. It, well, you're gonna keep the little metal bed at the bottom. It can be removed so that if you wanted to place this on something like a cutting board, you could engrave right on the cutting board and lay this on top of it. But if you're cutting an item, then you should use this little metal, what, blade tray? Would you call it a blade tray? Yeah, a blade tray. Sounds right. 
So focusing is super easy. We're gonna use this knob on the side right here. And it's a, like an electronic knob. It's not like a manual knob. You're just going to use the knob to try to get these two dots to come back together. Like the red and the blue are gonna make purple. <laughs> You're gonna align the two dots and that's how you know it's focused. So it has super easy focusing. What do you think? Is that correct? Um, well, yeah, there you go. All right, looks about right. Yes. So now I'm gonna hit frame. Yes, framing. so framing on this, the great thing about this one is that it frames exactly where you're going to be cutting. So there's two types of framing. You can do it with the actual outline of the image that you'll be engraving and then, um, or just a rectangle of where it will be engraving. Maybe reset it. How's it look over there? Mm -hmm. Looks perfect. Right. Stop framing. Mm -hmm. Slow this down. Process. Okay, what are you doing here? Are you just scoring it, engraving it? Engrave and cut. I don't know, I'm a little nervous now because you were touching things. Okay, mm -hmm. and then cutting was 8521. Yep. Okay. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. You have to hit start. Oh yeah, hit start, I'll hit start here. We'll time it. One, two, three, go. I mean, I think it's definitely faster than the D1, mainly because this just has the mirror and it's moving around. What do they call that? That Galvo style laser. So the mirror just moves around. The laser head doesn't move. So there's no gantry or rails or stepper motors or anything. Which makes it much faster. So it's just the little mirror that's bouncing up the light around, directing where the light goes. Oh man, it's already cutting. It's done with the engrave. Already cutting. And we are at just one minute. Wow. And with the little purifier, uh, it automatically turns on when it detects that the machine is running, and then it turns off when you open the slider. Okay, I think it didn't cut through the 3M tape. Oh, but it's ready. Should I put it on my hat? Yeah. What do you think? Do you want me to put it on your hat? Yeah, yeah. Because you know he's not gonna take that hat off. Oh, it's my hat stash! All right, I got my hat stash on. There you go. Project two, acrylic. We're gonna use some black acrylic and we're gonna make a keychain. We're gonna make somebody's name on a keychain on the spot, right here. Personalized right keychain, Personalized right now. Personalized keychain. What's your name, young lady? Too bad, I'm doing Sarah. All right, it's already <laughs> focused because we're still using the same. Is it focused? Um, I mean, is this higher than the? Uh... The acrylic is a little higher, but it still looks pretty good from here. All right, looks good then. All right, all these are still the same? Yes. All right, we'll close this up. Oh, let's frame it. Frame. Right at the edge over here too. Okay. All right. Close this guy up. And hit process. All right, ready? Good. All right. Three, three, two, one. because of the cover, but if the cover is up, and when you use the extension pack, so there's a couple other accessories that come with this while we're waiting, uh, that aren't available yet, but are coming and shipping in the next, I don't know, a couple of months. Uh, there's an, uh, an extension oh, yeah. tray 
that is four and a half by 15.75. So it is going to be perfect to fit on those door rounds. So yes. if you want to engrave on the center banner of a door round or cut out the word uh, welcome name. or name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yes. we're really excited about that. Um, and there's also a rotary tool that does different types of rotary. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I have that in front of me, the specs on that, but I know it does. Oh, I think it holds it from the inside of the object. Yes. Yeah. And then it holds it on either end if you're doing something um, that's, you know, like a round ball. Oh, It'll yeah. It'll hold it on either beautiful. end. Yeah. And it says it's a 90% cylinder engraved. So, really This thing cool. isn't very loud. Is this thing even on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Not very loud at all. I mean, I couldn't bring the glue forge to a show. Yeah, and that was also one of the things we talked about. It's when we too did. loud. Yeah, it's, it's loud. Too cumbersome. But I can run this right at our booth. I mean, the polar laser may be too cumbersome, but it's not as loud. But this. Well, especially if I can do some personalization with those last names. I'm really excited about that, and I'm really excited about ornaments. On the spot. That's one of our projects. Personalized 3D welcome sign. Yeah. Sure. I can't wait. Fast forwarding through all of this. <laughs> oh, complete. Seven minutes, 58 seconds. Oh, this says eight minutes, two seconds. I might have been a little slow on the stop button. You did. All right. Seven minutes, 58 seconds. Let's see what we got. It actually did two passes. Oh. Nope. Looks like it kind of melted back together. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh -huh. Looks like it's through. I can see it around everything. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that tight of a cut. Yeah. Oops. There you go. There you go. And you want to pop out your little pieces? Yeah. yeah. I think you left the poker tool out. Oh, I think I got them all. No poker tool needed. All right, that looks pretty cool. Let me shine it up. There you go. I don't know if you ever took all the schmutz off of it. Looks pretty good. And uh, seven minutes, got myself my own name right here on my keychain. Personalized keychain. Yep, throw a little hook on that and throw it in my pocket. And, and maybe it didn't even need two passes. And we, I think it was almost done at four minutes with the first pass. So this is so new that there isn't a material settings guide. So what, because it is, we use the blue light laser to do the cutting on this and the engraving. And it is a 10 watt. Is 10 watt. So I tried to use the uh, D1 laser settings for this. And it said two passes, so that's what I did. Project number three, metal. We're gonna do some jewelry. We're gonna personalize some jewelry right on the spot. We have some stainless steel right here. And we're gonna take this bed out because we're not gonna cut anymore. We're just gonna do some engravings. And now when we engrave on metal, we'll be using that infrared two watt laser beam. And did you know that when you heat stainless steel to different temperatures, you get different colors. So on one of the forums, I could see different settings for different colors. So we're gonna attempt, I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna attempt to engrave this in a blue color. So hopefully I've got the settings right. We'll see what we come up with. I'm gonna bring it on down. Blue and red make purple. What's it look like over there? It's a little off over here, but again, I'm on one side, you're on the other. So last time I split the difference. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. 
All right, no, don't put that down yet. Oh, you yeah, want to frame, frame first. Frame. Ooh, I'm way off. Yeah, but that's great about, what's great about this thing is that you can just move your object right to the little, wherever, it's because you're like not in the, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm over here. Must be in the front row. Wait, for this one, I think I want a different type of framing. Let's outline this thing. Well, that's hard to see on that end. Yes. I'm taking it to the limits. Should I shrink it a little bit? It is in the box. I had the box set to both edges. It was, I had maxed out its spacing. <laughs> Let me see. How's it looking? I can't really tell with that one, at least not from here. You can see it better right from the front, but since we're not over there, um, I think the rectangle is a little better. Yeah, all right. I think it's looking good. What do you think? Um, I can't, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think that's so. good. I mean, I love how you're able to see exactly where it's going to land, how it spins so fast. Wait, I wait till I show you when it gets really tiny. This thing can cut to up to, I mean, uh, sizing down to 12 one hundredths of an inch. That's the font size. It's so tiny. Hold on, let me get my... All right, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. So this says two minutes, this says one minute, 55 seconds. Yeah. So two minutes and you got yourself a piece of personalized jewelry. You so, think that's blue? No, it looks almost green. That looks yeah. like the green color. Okay, I don't Pretty know. Pretty cool though. But it's there. I can feel it, yeah, it's there. I could make it darker. Like a different color would make it darker. Yeah. All right. That came out great. So that's this one actually says so our daughter's graduating this year. Yes, yeah, so that's why everything's a, everything's says Sarah. So this will hang from a little mirror charm with her yes, tassel is, and everything. This is meant to be a car charm, and yes, her tassel, her her extra tassel will hang on here with a little charm with her name, and then I actually set it up to engrave. We can do this like later, but I have it set up so it would say class of 2023. And Sarah across here as well. Man, so she might want to keep. I, I tell you what, out. though, if I had a jewelry booth, uh, this I would definitely add this to my arsenal because I would be just like, just like the things to remember to know. Oh yeah! Yeah. oh yeah! Oh yes! I mean, oh yes! <laughs> yeah, I'd yes. Have a little uh, things to remember kiosk over there at the craft show. And the great thing, uh, another great thing about this is that the X Tool software. Um, what is it? Creative Space? Yeah, X Tool Creative Space. Space works with all the platforms. So it works with um, Windows and Mac, and it works on an iPad. It works on your phone. So one of the things. Works on that, the iPad? So one of the. You could have them draw something on the iPad. Yes. And personalize their jewelry on the spot. Well, another thing in their little ad Thank demo you. that I haven't tried yet is actually scan with your phone. You take a picture of it, import the picture, and then you could engrave it. So if somebody wanted to write, you know, hi grandma, and On it wasn't even, paper or something, right? Or just draw. Oh, well, is that what the phone app will do? Yeah, like oh, a, wow. a picture, and then you could engrave the picture. Oh, they're getting dangerous. Yeah, it's getting dangerous. Right. So there, we have so many more projects that I'd like to try. This is just kind of our first video and our first trial. First impressions. All right, we got another one. We're not done yet. We got a couple more. Big thanks to FlexiSpot. We love our desk. We love how it cleaned up all of those cables, got all the tripods out of the way. It's got the dual monitor arm. That way Tanner can do all of his editing right there. Also has the monitor stand. That's where Tanner seems to hide all of his stuff right underneath there. It's got adjustable height. 
He uses one setting for editing, he uses one setting for filming, and then one setting for lounging. And don't forget the accessory drawer that we use to keep all of your desk accessories in. It also has that attachable power strip with the USB, the USB-C, and three plugs. <laughs> Project number four, wood, Christmas ornaments. Now this is the one I am most excited about because I know 100% we'll be able to offer these in our booth. And you know, Christmas ornaments are always a great seller. You guys have given us lots of comments around. We sell these all year long. I have so many great ideas, but for this one, I thought, you know, if you're going to do a personalized ornament, not only are you going to put the last name for this one, you'll be able to put kids names, grandkids names right on there. So I already have each of the names typed in. And with this one, because we're doing six different names, we're going to do each name individually. Yeah. Start with the oldest. You see how I have it in order? Kind yeah. of. Maybe and then the oldest goes at the top. Yes. And then you just line it up all the way down to the little guys who aren't so little anymore. None of them are little anymore. Inside. You need to go up even more. Nice Maybe that good. works. Mm -hmm. well, are you good? Yeah, well, I think we're good. All right. So this one I'm engraving as well. Or I think you can score. The difference between engrave and score is engrave will fill it, fill the inside of the letters. Score just does the outline. So I have set to engrave. All right, ready? I am ready. One, two, three, go. I think I beat you too. Oh, snap. Four seconds? Is that it? Yes. Yeah, four seconds. Wow. I, I didn't, didn't even have time you. to put the phone I down. Even, I didn't want to tell you how fast it was going to be. I wanted you to be surprised. Okay. Yeah, that was... <laughs> no time. No time to put the phone down. All right. I'm going to start framing the next. I'm not even going to bother with the stopwatch this time. I mean... Does it even matter? It doesn't. That's how fast this is. I wouldn't have been able to set the phone down. <laughs> Four seconds. Four seconds. Get it. Four seconds. Done, four seconds. Oh, five seconds. Look at that, on-site personalization. Yeah, right there. I don't, what did that take? 15 seconds and then, what, six names and about uh -huh. five seconds, even another 30 seconds, 45 seconds, maybe two minutes with lining it up and everything. That's pretty good. You could probably make a little jig and then glue these on, make it even faster. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah, that's what, as a matter of fact, uh, it comes with this little guide that screws down on the metal plate at the bottom, and that's exactly what it's supposed to be for. For a little jig. For a jig, yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. that you can line it up and it'll be perfect every time. Yeah, perfect every time. And All then right. you can double tap this button and it'll just do the same thing again. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, wood did great. Did great with the wood. Whoops. Sturdy. <laughs> I'll make it again. Project number five, wood. But this time we're gonna use it to do some branding. Now there's no way this sign is gonna fit in that little four by four compartment in there. So we're gonna remove the bottom and then we're able to set it on this piece right here. So you got enough room. Hold on, I'll lift. All right. Face sure. down. You want to turn it around it... so the bow hangs off. So it'll be nice and flat. Oh, we're just gonna brand it right, in the, right there? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
Does that look yep, focused? Looks, looks pretty focused here. All right, now I have a QR code and our logo with a little website on there. We usually put this type of branding on the back of all of our signs. Now we're thinking this could be used to personalize it. You can get your sign personalized to mom, to dad, you know, Merry Christmas, something like that on it. This one's gonna take a couple minutes, I, I think. think. So. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty big. We will see. All right. One, two, three, go. I didn't need to go this big. I probably could have gone half this size. <laughs> Let's see if the QR code works. Oh, yep. Right there. Taking me to my, my link tree. Yeah, I, I probably could have gone at least half that size. But uh, you can just set this thing on things. I have so many ideas now. Well, he already said I should bring my bike in. We can engrave on my bike. Yeah. I was like, yeah, maybe put, it's maybe a different video. I want to put my logo on my bike. I think it would be cool. <laughs> I want to try it. I'm going to try it. I am super impressed with this little guy. This little petite power packed, I don't know, speed demon. I don't have a, I don't have a <laughs> P for speed, but this thing is fast, powerful, versatile. I, I like this thing. Thank you, Xtool, for sending this over. Yes, right. thank you so much. I think this is going to be great in our craft booth. I can't wait to set up. This is, you know, not only are we going to be able to offer personalization, engraving, but the other little key tip about your craft booth, this is going to be one of those eye catchers. One yeah, of the, I can uh, put it right out there, right out front. As long as I got this down, it should draw the kids in, yep. which will draw the parents right behind them. <laughs> That's what I like. If you want to pick one up for yourself, we have the link in the description down below. With that, we're about out of time. I have to go do some more testing. So we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget to tune in on Tuesdays where we do some kind of test cut. I might be doing live test cuts with this thing next Tuesday. Uh, I have so many ideas. So many ideas. And I'm not going to balance this one. No, I don't think it's a good no idea. No balance needed. Thanks.